What is a mixture? By kscience.com A mixture is made up of different substances which are not chemically combined. For example, a mixture which everyone uses every day without even thinking about it is air. Air is a mixture because it contains different substances which are not chemically combined, such as oxygen, carbon dioxide, argon, and nitrogen. We can see these are different substances, and they are not chemically combined. There are no chemical bonds in between these substances. To tell if something is a mixture, just ask yourself these questions. Are there different substances and are they not chemically combined? If your answer is yes to both questions, you have a mixture. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Let's now take a look at a different mixture. Let's think about sand, salt and water. If I were to mix the sand, salt and water, we'd have a container full of water, sand where the sand settles to the bottom and then the salt has dissolved in the water. We wouldn't really be able to see it. This is a mixture because there are different substances, water, salt and sand. And these different substances are not chemically combined. It's that simple. Ask yourself these two questions and you have yourself a mixture. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Mixtures can easily be separated using physical methods. I'm now going to introduce some physical methods which you will learn about in much more detail in later videos. Rock, salt and water is a mixture of water, rock and dissolved salts. This can be separated using filtration and crystallization. Iron powder and sulfur can be separated by using a magnet. The magnet attracts the iron leaving the sulfur behind, separating the mixture. The magnet can be used in this situation because iron is one of three magnetic metals. Ink in pens can be separated using chromatography. It separates the mixture of ink into their individual compounds. Salt water, which is salt dissolved in water, can be separated using simple distillation. And finally, crude oil can be separated using fractional distillation. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com. For more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.